Hi, in this tutorial we will see how to use Google Fonts in the Rocket Cake responsive website editor. First of all, we have a website here, and here we use WebSafe fonts. This is Arial, and here is the list of the WebSafe fonts. Arial, Arial, this is Times New Roman. So the program itself offers the WebSafe fonts to us. Now the good thing about WebSafe fonts is that if we use these on our websites, anyone can watch them, or look at them from any computer. Uh, they are included in all the operating systems, so they are safe to use. Everybody has these fonts on their computers, so they will see what we intend them to see. The downside, however, is that these fonts are in use for since the 80s. So if we use WebSafe fonts, they make our website look outdated, old, obsolete. So what we can do is we can use Google fonts instead of WebSafe fonts. How do we do that? Well, first of all, let's just have a preview of our website. Okay, here it is with WebSafe fonts. And then what we can do is we type Google font into our search engine. Google fonts. And here it is. We have a list of Google fonts. Oh, it's uh, viewing 900, 902 font families. So we have a lot of fonts to choose from. Now, by default, Google Fonts uh, sorts by trending. So on top we have the most trendy fonts. And we can change it if we want to. We have to, we can look at the most popular ones. It seems that Roboto is on top. And uh, we can just start choosing fonts to use on our website. Now, let's say I like this Open Sans. So what I do is I select this font by clicking on this plus sign on the top right. Yes, I selected it. And let's say I want to use the bold version of Open Sans also. Here it is. I select this too. Let's say I like Montserrat also. I select this and let's find one with a serif. Okay, let's have this one, Roboto Slab. I select this too. Now, here are, it says three families selected. I open this thing by clicking on this minus side. Here I can download these fonts onto my computer if I want. Here are the, the font families that I have selected. And here it says embed font. To embed your selected fonts into a web page, copy this code into the head of your HTML document. Now, this is what we will do. Now, here is the code. And we just select this code and uh, copy it with Control C, for example, or right click on it and say copy. And we go back to our website. Now we go to our web page, right click on it, click on HTML code, and it says additional code in the header. So that's where we have to paste our code. Let's paste it with Ctrl V. Here we have it. So we have Montserrat Open Sans. Uh, this is font weight 400 and 700. So this is the normal font. This is the bold font and Roboto Slab. All right. So we prepared our website to be used with 
uh, Google Fonts. Now let's say I want this header to be Open Sans. So I go up here to the fonts and I type Open Sans, comma, space, enter. Let this also be Open Sans. Comma space enter. Okay, here let this be. I just check it. Okay, let this be Montserrat. So go up Montserrat. Comma space enter. And let this one be Roboto slab. So. I click here, I go up here, sorry, Roboto slab, comma space, enter. Now let's preview our new website. Okay, uses different fonts and let's just change the text. Rocket Cake website with Google fonts and this article is now used with Roboto slab fonts font preview here it is so here here is how our new website looks our old website looks like this with Arial and Times New Roman our new website looks like this. The difference is not huge, but I think that we can see that this is just much, it looks just more up to date and modern. So I highly recommend the use of Google Fonts in our Rocket Cake websites. Well, I hope you liked this tutorial. If so, I am happy. God bless you. Bye-bye.